So here's a quick one about a husband and father of a two-year-old boy who out of nowhere, his wife informed him that her doctor said that she has some terminal issue, she's going to be gone in five years, and like that, abandons both him and the two-year-old child for a woman she claims she's in love with, leaves a note, and doesn't see her for years. And three years later, guess who's back begging for a second chance? Title. My wife left me to be with a woman after she found out she was sick. Now three years later, she wants to come back into with me and my son's life. He says here, three years ago, my wife was diagnosed with a heart disorder that the doctor claimed would take her life within the next five years. Well, maybe her heart disorder, given how this goes, means she has no heart. Uh, my, my world came crashing down. I only had a few years left with my wife and the mother of my child. Within the year of the diagnosis, she had already left me. She uh, went gay and ran away with some chick that she worked with. I get hearing that was that kind of news could just screw you up in so many ways. Fair enough. But you don't abandon your husband and child to go off and be with somebody else. I don't care what your orientation is. I mean, come on here. She left me and the two-year-old son with a note. That is it. No goodbyes, not even to her son. Just an effing note. After I got over that, I couldn't give a damn about what happened to, her, to the W-H-O-R-E. I had no idea where she was, what she was doing, or if she was alive and I, and I was happy. I was fine being a single dad. I was fine getting to meet new women. I was fine not being her partner. She was a cancer in my life that went into remission. So he did what a man has to do. He took care of business, him and his son. He couldn't fall into a deep, dark hole, although nobody can blame him. He took care of business and moved on. Now listen to this. Now, three years later, I'm having a reoccurrence. She showed up at our new home in tears, apologizing for what she did. A little late, honey. She wants to be my wife and our son's mother again. She had a medical scare and found out that she has less than a year. You sure? Now I'm in the middle of this. I can't find in my heart to throw her out in the streets to die. I can't deny my son the chance to know his mom. But she is evil and destroyed me. Now she's sleeping on my couch. I don't know if I should even let her around him. I don't know if what I'm doing is right. So that's a quick one, but let me just say this. Okay, fair enough. You get you get a uh, a term, terminal diagnosis. I could screw anybody up. I get it. But abandoning your husband and your child, even, even if you can go so far as the, the spouse, the child, that two-year-old needs his mother. Come on here. But, the, but then again, the child needs more a good father than a bad mother. And now three years later, she's back and wants to be his wife again and the mother of the kid. You know how screwed up that kid's going to be with his mom? He, I, I guarantee every day that kid's probably asking, where's mommy? Where's mommy? Maybe even sometimes blaming the dad. Finally, the kids moved on and gotten used to the life, and now she's back. You know how much that messes up a child? How much a kid can have abandonment issues, and then she could go do this again? And I gotta wonder, seriously, if that diagnosis was accurate. I have to wonder, swear to God, if it was BS. Did he see proof of the, that diagnosis? Was he there? Records and everything? That maybe she did it just as a lie, as an excuse to abandon them and go off and see if things would work out with that girl. I know it sounds harsh, but I've heard crazier things. But now she's back. Doesn't she have family? Doesn't she have a have a job, some money? Or has she blown all that and burned bridges and nowhere else to go? But this guy should not take her back. He should not. Honestly, unless she gets a court order saying that she's allowed to see the son, I'd say, no, get out of here. End of story, because it's going to mess up the kid. Again, some people may think I'm heartless here, but that guy doesn't, she doesn't deserve that, you know? And... He, I'm not sure if he claimed here she has a year left or that was like a part of the five-year deal, but she, you make your bed, you lie, okay? And I just, you know, some people, most people in the comment section are on his side, but of course there's some that are feeling bad for her and all that, but you know, no, uh-uh, that, that poor kid, you know? So a, a child needs both parents and, you know, people do mess up in life, but that goes too far. So I'd say, you know what? No, you're on the couch tonight, tomorrow you're out, end of freaking story, and... Hopefully that goes well. But guys, when people go too far, you can't take them back in your life. Because again, Tish will do the same damn thing again. I still question whether that medical diagnosis was real or is a just a big sham, so she can go off and be with that girl and see how see how that worked out. Clearly, didn't work out. So let me know in the comments section what do you think about this. Do you think it was a big sham or really is true and she panicked? Who knows? I'd like to hear what you guys think about this.